Hello again, folks. Welcome to another edition of Between the Banks. You'd swear oh, it's, it's winter time, but it feels like summer. Oh, there's a red. Coming up alongside, right here. Could keep a red, maybe keep a red. Might be too short. We'll see. We'll see. Pulled up at Redfish Point number one, right where I was last week. And it looks like the reds are still here. Okay, don't forget, reds gotta be 16 inches. This one's a little short. So, there he goes. But don't think I didn't notice that his tail was blue. It's another rock up sock -em edition of Between the Banks. Stay tuned. The fun has already started. Between the Banks is brought to you by Blue Cross at Blue Shield of Louisiana. What makes the employees of Blue Cross Louisiana true? We're as homegrown as you are. We reach for the stars, but we keep our feet on the ground. We're always on the move, but we know when to chill. We're not all alike, but we weather the storms together. Because we are who you are. Louisiana. We're the employees of Blue Cross. Louisiana True since 1934. Up and down the bayou. That's how we tell you to get from one place to the other. It's a little different, but so are we in Louisiana's Cajun Bayou. And once you get here, you'll understand why our Cajun runs a little deeper. Find a piece of our store on swamp pools, fishing boats, at festivals, attractions, and restaurants. Visit LACajunBayou.com to plan your trip today. Louisiana's Cajun Bayou. Rich, natural, unapologetically Cajun. Just south of New Orleans, where Cajun runs deep. Folks, everybody gets between the banks. Here's how easy it is. Go to your address bar, type in betweenthebanks.com, search, and here you are. The latest videos, services, and products provided by Between the Banks. Check it out, betweenthebanks.com. Everybody gets between the banks. All right, right off the bat, I'm gonna show you how I'm rigged so I can get that out of the way here. So here's a seven foot medium action rod like I always fish with, Team Iowa. I'm on a Revo reel. I've got 12 pound test Berkeley Pro Spec. The reason you can't see it right here where my fingers are is because it's low biz, the fish can't see it either. Now, when I come down to the end of the line, I've got a black crane swivel, number 10 black crane swivel. Then I start my leader, 30 pound test camo line by triple fish. I'm coming through one eighth ounce weight, sliding it all the way up to the swivel. If I've got a cork, I'm just going to slide this down and clip it on. I can use the same rig to Carolina rig or go Carolina with a cork. Put a cork on it. Then all the way down on my shock leader, and notice it's a long shock leader because I want to be able to use a cork here too. I've got a one north kale hook through the lips of a big goo goo minnow. Now I'm going to tell you folks, during the winter time, the bait shops have different hours and stuff. Goo goo, you can stop on the way in right there in Golden Meadow. He's got his little shop and he can take care of you. He's got large, medium, small, whatever you want, goo goo's got it. And that way if you're coming down during the week and you get to Leeville and the shops are closed, you can still get bait right there in Golden Meadow. If uh, bada bing, gales, 
Demir's if, I, if the bait shops are shut down for the, for the winter, you can get them there. So that's how I'm rigged. Of course, all of this, you can get a tide. Great food, a complete tackle store. Everything I use on TV comes from tides. Now, he is closed in January, February. He's redoing the store. But come March, he's gonna reopen and you'll be able to go in there and you can buy this whole rig for 150 bucks right there at Tides. So that's how I'm rigged. I'm gonna show you why I'm here next. Stay tuned. Oh, got him out of the mess. Got him out of the mess. Let's see what it is. I was going to say, that's... Oh, not a small red, that's what it is. Not a small red. Alright. Got to bear with us. Where I'm fishing, of course, is Redfish Point number one. And we're right next to the jackups, and they're sandblasting over there. Plus, I got an east southeast wind blowing, so bear with us on the noise. I've got my first string camera person, the love of my life, Turtle. She's on the camera. So when she's on, folks, she tells me things like how bad the wind noise is and stuff like that. So, bear with us. Here's another small red. Don't forget, red fish have to be, like I said earlier, at least 16 inches before you can keep them. And you can only have five, one over 27 in your five, and the rest have to be at least 16 inches. And you can only have one out of your five, that's over 27. That's considered a bull. But, like I said earlier, and like Turtle pointed out to me, he said, Bob, do you see how, red, how blue that tail was? So you can see the fish are turning on here at Redfish Point number one. So, turn this one loose. But, big time, big time fun here at Redfish Point. Now I'm going to tell you why I picked this spot. We're going to pan to the left and you're going to look at the point of Redfish Point number one. And look at all of those pilings that are in a row right there along the bank. And notice the shells that are along that bank right there. So I got a shell island. Those pilings, folks, are from when they used to have a pipeline in the old days. They took their pipes and they laid them on top of, of wood. The wood came up above the water, cross member, and they put the pipeline right there. The lines were visible. So that's how low the water is. You can see all of these things this time of year. And even though I'm in shorts, it's winter time. I'm just filming on one of these warm days and that's why I'm mean, gonna sit here in shorts. But you come to Redfish Point One, you got rocks, you got underwater pilings and wood, and that's where I'm fishing, that's where I'm casting. Right there. I marked it for you this week. See the corks there? Floating? That's where the underwater structure is. A big pile of timber that they dumped there when they took the pipeline out. So I got, it's right there, and I've got that path between the island and that pile of wood, and that's where I'm dropping my Carolina rig. Right on the shelves, the reds are picking it up, my weight's sitting on the rocks, men are swimming, and life is good in this neighborhood, especially for redfish this time of year. So that's why I chose this, wood, shells, nervous water running through here, bait, can't go anywhere else. I had to start at Redfish Point number one. Oh, I 
this feels like something good. This could be a big speckled trout. But I'm not going to say that, especially since we've been catching nothing but reds. As you can, oh, it is a speck. It is a nice speck. It is a big speckled trout. Or is that a red? That looks like a red. Looks like a red. Yep, it's a red. It's a red. There you go. In the net he goes. Nice red fish. Nice red. Alright, so as you can tell, I made a move. I got out of the South Texaco field. Uh, we didn't make it into the Dee's Canal and back up in there, but uh, shallow, shallow, and then the weather forced us in. So I made a move after we cleared the weather. I made a move and it ran up to Bayou Blue. So I'm working right where Bayou Pear at Lee meets uh, Bayou Blue heading towards Catfish Lake. <clears throat> Looking for some specks to tell you the truth. Got tired of messing with the reds, but the reds are everywhere, just like this one. So I'm gonna take this one off, toss him in the box, and we're gonna get back out there and see if we can get some more fish. Now it's been tough. Uh, we were hitting them one after another, but as you saw at Redfish Point One, caught nothing but small ones. So I'm really hunting around looking to see if I can find some trout. And instead, I have to live with these, Mr. Redfish. But I gotta say, they're fun to catch. That's a nice keeper red. Don't forget, you can only have five. One over 27 inches, and the rest have to be 16. This is a good griller. There you go. 23, 22 inches. Good piece of red. All right, the, toss him in the box and get back out there. Carolina Rick Cockaho produced that fish. Stay tuned. We're not giving up. I'm going to get those five redfish easy, but I want some specs. Got him under the boat. Under the boat. Another red. Another red. Another red. Gotta be. Oh, yeah. Another red. Another red fish. Well, they're all the same size, too. All right, come over here, boy. Come over here, boy. Oh, yeah, got him nice and warm. Oh, perfect, perfect. Well, they're all the same size. And look, they are chomping on that big goo goo minna. Big Google men walking the dog. Got it right in the corner of the mouth. Getting all my tools here. Nice red. But he looks like he's the same size. Looks like he is definitely the same size. Boy, now this one ate it. This one definitely ate it. Let's see if I can get to that hook.
Come on, Mr. Red, give it up. Take that hook out of your mouth and set, set you free in my fish box. That's right, I got it. Boy, he had it right in the tongue. Right in the tongue. That's why he was fighting so hard. That's why he was fighting so hard. Tongue hooked. Okay, another red. Let's see how big this one is. Looks like he's about 22, 23 inches. Oh, this one's a little bigger. Right at uh, 20, a little shorter. This one's only 21, 21 inches. But perfect for grilling. I mean, just cut them, leave them on the hash shell, throw it on the barbecue pit, cover it with olives, whatever you'd like, and cook it down. Really delicious to eat. All right, there's another red for the box. Two keepers, two small ones. At least things are getting better. Stay tuned. Not a nice red. All right, I'm going to show you a trick that we're doing here. I know you must think, man, look, they're fishing a dam with rocks and they're Carolina fishing. Why aren't they getting snagged? I'm going to explain that in a second as soon as I get this fish in. But a lot of people running around, a lot of people not catching anything. But there's a pattern to this madness. And once you get it figured out, you can have big time fun. Now, is this a speck? Negative, I'm sure. This is a, a red fish. Yeah, another nice red. Wow, oh, this one's gonna be bigger. All right, got him. Got him. Another nice red. This one's in the corner of the mouth. So, okay. All right, I'm gonna take this fish off and I'm gonna show you exactly how I'm catching these fish. Right in the corner of the mouth. Big goo goo minnows, gotta have. Small minnows just don't do it. Nice red. Alright. Alright, so I'm starting with a big goo goo minnow. I'm not using a cork. They're not taking it on a cork. That would be easy if I could put this rig, just put a clip on cork above my shock leader and catch them. But they're not hitting it that way. They're hitting it right along those rocks. Now, take a look at the, the row of rocks. You see those two rocks that look like a man and a woman? <laughs> That's what Turtle Turtle says. Look, those rocks look like a man and a woman, like a cloud, you know? But that's why I love fishing with Turtle. Aside from being the love of my life, it's just fun to fish with her. She's just a blast. All right, now I'm gonna make the cast and I'm gonna show you how you gotta fish a, a weighted Carolina rig in those rocks without getting snagged. So I'm gonna throw it right by the man and the woman rocks that are sticking up right there. Okay, so check it out. Nice easy cast. Right there in front of those rocks. Now I'm going straight 12 o'clock with my rod. All right, I know that men and that weight are in those rocks. So the only way and that's where the reds are at. The tide's coming in, it's hitting, it's going that way. It's hitting those rocks and rolling around. And that's where the reds are ambushing the bait. So, right now I'm hung. I'm hung on a rock. But I'm not gonna pull it. All I'm gonna do is ping it. Like that. And now it's free. 
but I'm keeping my rod at 12 noon, period. Can't go down with it. You go down with it, you're gonna get a snag. And just keep it lying tight so you can feel the hit. And I'm just holding it there. That's where the fish are. I'm gonna wait for the fish to hit that bait, folks. I'm not reeling it in, I'm not doing anything. But if I get snagged, like right there, I'm on another rock again, I'm gonna ping it. Now it's free. Keep in mind what's going on below the surface of the water. The cockaho is, he sees those redfish. He's going down there in the rocks, but you gotta be able to pull him out of the rocks to where the reds can hit it. So while I'm waiting to get a fish on here, let's go check out the marina minute. All the fine businessmen in Lafouche Parish starts way up the bayou. Tourism Commission. Oh, there's a hit. Tourism Commission. All the great places that you can fish in Lafouche Parish. Lake, Ter uh, Lake uh, Buff up at the Terrio Boat Lodge. Come on down. Lockport, Lake Fields. Come on down. Uh, Delta Farms, all the intercoastal spots there in La Rose. New launch supposed to be coming up there. Then come on Golden Meadow, you got Gagoo with bait right there at the Shell Station. Catfish Lake Boat Launch, pump stations are on for bank fishermen. Come on down to Leeville. Great places to eat, great accommodations, Boudreaux's Waterfront Motel. Griffins right across the street, ice, uh, just a great place to fish. And then when you throw in renovations, every now and then you'll get a soft bump like that. That's croakers and different bait that's right there. In fact, you can see the finger mullet that are swimming through there also. But back to renovations keeps my boat going great dealer power pole i mean just awesome folks right there at the intersection of 308 when you come into galliana by the bridge bef before south lafouche i mean go check them out pathfinder war eagle if you want service on your boat that's the place to go it's where i go great people wade cantrell holly st pierre just awesome people to do business with. So here's the Marina Minute. Hopefully, by the time we finish that map feature, I'll get a fish on here. Get my five redfish. Stay tuned. Here's the Marina Minute. I'm going to follow it with the map. Boudreaux's Waterfront Motel. Dock your boat at the end of the pier, right under your room. Set up your grill. Got your own fish cleaning station, your own ramp. And for big groups, enjoy the sunset at the Boudreaux House. Boudreaux's in Leeville. Griffin's Marina and Ice has bag, block, and blow ice for whatever size boat. Both dockside and roadside ethanol free fuel, convenience store, breakfast, crispy chicken, all conveniently located in downtown. Leeville. Renovations is your complete marine center for sales, parts, and service. Pathfinder, War Eagle Boats, Minn Kota Motor Guide Trolling Motors, Power Pole and Minn Kota Anchoring Systems, Pumps, Trailer Parts, Renovations will keep you on the water. Alright folks, here's the map feature brought to you by Lorenz. You can see I'm anchored with the Power Pole in six feet of water. And notice the water temperature. I mean, I'm in shorts. We're almost 80 degrees today. It's one of those rare winter warm days. And you can see the water temperature, 64.5. I got an incoming tide at about one-tenth of a knot going below, below the boat. And you can see the trout and the bigger fish are the reds, but I can't get these trout to bite. Uh, I'm doing my best, but I just can't buy a trout, but I can certainly buy the reds. All right, so let's go over to the map. Pages, going to arrow over to map, enter. Okay, and you're going to be able to see this big, huge intersection that I'm fishing. This is Bayou Blue. 
this is the pipeline that I'm fishing with the rock dam. And this is Bayou Pierre at Lee that comes along and, and meets right here at this big intersection where Bayou Pierre at Lee meets Bayou Blue, the Camp Canal. I'm right at that dam. Now, if I go around this point, there's another dam right here. So it's a great spot to fish, especially when you're in the Bayou Blue area. And we know that there's a lot of fish here because it's Bayou Blue right here is the migration route for all the fish that head up towards Catfish Lake, Sulphur Mine. This is the route they take in. It's also the route they take out. So you can see where I'm at right at the dam here. So let's get you some coordinates. There you go. Check out the coordinates. Now, I'm gonna tell you folks, I'm gonna have a hard time seeing those small numbers. But let's see, I'll give it a shot. 29, 16, 671 north, west, 90, 16, 125. Don't worry folks, I'm gonna have cataract surgery pretty soon. So, I'll be able to read like you wouldn't believe. So there's the map feature, brought to you by the good folks at Lorraine's. Fishing, Grand Bayou Blue, Bayou Pierre at Lee Dams. Well folks, there you have it. Another edition of Between the Banks. If you wanna get, get some redfish and have some big time fun while you're waiting for the specs to cut start, Come on out to the spots. South Texaco Field, Bayou Blue, all of those areas are on. You can come out here and have your grand time. Just don't forget when you're fishing redfish, you gotta have five, only one over 27, and they have to be at least 16 inches. If they're not, this one's kinda short. Turn them loose and make another cast and catch another one. Hope you enjoyed this edition of Between the Banks. Hope you've learned something. More redfish spots coming. And for those of you that always say, Captain Bob, when did you film the show? This show, remember the last week's show, was filmed during that full moon. This show is being shot right at the beginning of February. We're here during Mardi Gras week. So, beginning part of February, and this is a Valentine's edition of Between the Banks. Wanted to tell my turtle dove, thank you so much for coming out and filming during, on, on, on Valentine's Day. I love you to death. See you next week. In the meantime, good luck fishing.